people they usually generally in the area of ex Yugoslavia which I would say was normal for the whole world uh, especially if we are talking about the times before Second World War uh, when you would build the house you always had uh, like three areas one area would be for the grandparents the second area would be for parents and for the children you would have the third area uh, then uh, in the right. times of Yugoslavia which today is not so common anymore uh, what people would do this is for example how my house in Zagreb was built uh, my grandparents uh, bought the land they built the first floor the second floor and then my father came and then he built the third floor and the second floor uh, was then used by uh, my grandparents the floor below them so the first floor was where uh, me and my brothers were located and the third floor that was built my by my father uh, was where my parents lived so you always had this idea of three generations that are going to live together now unfortunately uh, because of different situations in uh, families nowadays it is usually uh, not that way a lot of people they live their family houses and it is also so to say trend in the last uh, half a decade uh, sorry half a century in Europe that uh, just like in the United States after 18 years old uh, there's no place for you at home you should go and become independent and uh, I don't know how it is in the Philippines but for example in some countries in Asia and you probably know that better than I do it is not so common to leave your parents' house. In fact, uh, leaving your parents' house is uh, sometimes an offense. I know that, for example, that was for a long time in, uh, in China, especially in uh, rural areas. So, in, in Europe it is, uh, as you know, common also to leave your parents' house and in that way to become independent. So these are some beauties that we are now crossing, like creeks like this. Unfortunately, also there is a lot of garbage in Bosnia and Herzegovina, more than you will notice in Slovenia and in, uh, in Croatia. This is this feeling that, you know, who's gonna take care of it? Well, if we don't have to take care of that, those two other sides. So if Croats are talking, they will tell Bosnians, Serbs should take care of that, so they're blaming uh, each other and uh, in that way also taking any responsibility um, of their own. City of now, when it comes to this independence, Stol Stolak. Uh, it's also interesting because, in one way, uh, yeah, you sh we should all become uh, independent. Stolak. But in the 60s, it was mm -hmm. also a banking plan, so they wanted to, I won't say force people to take loans, but uh, when they created this trend, become independent and live on your 